A couple years back, this was uh, designated as required by several sanctioning bodies. There's quite a few of them now required, but it's, it's a, um, it says that a, you have to have a drive shaft loop within six inches of the rear U-joint. So to combat that issue, we, uh, we came up with this little uh, design here, and this, this is the ring that goes on the housing. So we machine this uh, billet ring. And there's various versions of this for the different center sections, whether it's a, a standard Mark Williams or a Strange Alter Case or a Tom's Billet. We have lots of these that are, that are different, but what is the same in all of them is the outer diameter. And um, these are gonna slip right on. They're gonna bolt, this pattern here is gonna bolt onto the pinion support. This uh, slot here is for the drive shaft pickup to accommodate. These uh, king certs here are what's going to hold the um, stud attachment for the um, retaining studs, and so uh, to make you know, obviously you don't want to have to unbolt a bunch of stuff back here when you're getting the drive shaft out, whether you're changing transmissions or servicing the clutch. So we just uh, we've got this locked in with a quick pin. So basically, you're going to pull two quick pins out, and then this is just going to key over and pull out. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this out here to the side just to show you what how this works so so we machine this is 4130 and we actually um, laser these key slots in there so that this when this fits this is going to go up slide on and clock and when it clocks over it's going to lock under the heads of these bolts here and then you got two quarter inch quick pins to put back in place so it's just a simple slide on twist it two pins in and out real simple it's got a nice uh, heavy duty drive shaft loop here and if you see some of the stuff that's out there that's available pretty spindly looking I don't know if any of you guys ever broke a u-joint back here but unless you're idling around the pits which is not usually when you break a u-joint you're under power and the shaft is spinning extremely fast and if there's some cheese dick piece of crap back here it's just gonna come flying out with the drive shaft we've broken some u-joints and this stuff retains the drive shaft it keeps it in its place um, now it's usually pretty fucked up when it's done, but this is a, this is a heavy duty piece and it, it's still usable. So look around at what's out there available for sale. This is a nice solid piece uh, that's going to bolt to the housing. It, it does not have any little spindly fasteners or, or any little cheesy tabs that stick out off of the edge of the pinion support. I mean, this thing's nice and solid because, you know, there's places you can cut some corners and make something light, but this is not one of them. When you're trying to retain the drive shaft when it breaks, I mean, there's a lot of bad shit happening at that time. So you want to try to keep control of that shaft as much as possible. And that's by keeping it contained in a small area. If you let it get out and get whipping, then that's when it starts tearing stuff up. So just a real quick rundown how it works, how simple it is to take in and out. Now, obviously, I don't have a shaft in this car, so it comes in and out with the shaft. So you just twist it, let it slide forward. Uh, on the shaft and then take the shaft out with it.